everyone, it's Jenny, and today I'm going to try a new type of video for you. Well, it's not new to YouTube or anything, but I'm going to do a get ready with me and see how I do my makeup. I know my lighting is not the best in the world, so hopefully in the future I can find a different setup for that. But for now, um, this is how I'm going to do it, and that way you can see what kind of products I use and things like that. Um, so first off, uh, before I do anything, and now I'm blind as a bat, I can't see anything, so I'm gonna make sure I have a decent mirror handy. So, I really like the one from the Gwen Stefani palette. So first thing that I do is I love to use this Tarte um, Rainforest of the Sea Marine Boosting Mist. Love this stuff. So what I do, I spray that on. I kind of tap it into my face a little bit just for that extra boost of hydration. And then I go in with my moisturizer. In the summertime, I like to use something a little bit more gel based, and this is the Cleaning Clear Morning Burst Hydrogel Moisturizer. So I'm going to have my little mirror handy in front of me too so I can see what I'm doing. And then I just like to spread this all over. Don't mean to blind you all with my mirror here. You just want to make sure you get your face, you know, nicely moisturized. And this is the first step before you do any sort of makeup the way that I do it. So. And I like to rub on my neck because I actually do take foundation down on my neck. Okay, so now that that's done too, sometimes I will put more uh, mist on my face, but I'm not going to do that today. I don't think I need it. Sometimes if I feel like I need that extra boost of hydration, I will do that. So next thing that I am going to apply on my face is you want to make sure that this your moisturizer and everything is you know dry you don't want to put it you know right on so i kind of like to pat it in and then i like to go in with a um face primer and then my holy grail primer if i can find it is the smashbox i love this stuff holy grail primer for me and then it, it only takes a little bit um and you just want to make sure you rub that in sort of pat it in and um, best way for me to describe how I actually apply that just sort of pat it into the face now I know not everybody loves this um, primer but it is a good one um, if you haven't tried a primer I would suggest trying this one to see how well you do like it Okay, so now after that, after my primer, um, I like to do color correcting, um, and I was going to try um, this Infallible, the L'Oreal Infallible that I got from uh, Buzz Agent. Now, I love to use the Benefit Erase Paste and Boing Concealer, which I think they completely repackaged and renamed it to all Boing, like Airbrush Concealer, Hydrating Concealer, so it's, a little, it's named a little bit differently. Uh, so the first one I always like to use, I like to go in with this color right here. Now the Benefit Erase Paste is a little bit more peachy undertone, but I'm just going to apply this under my eyes. And I always like to use my finger. Um, you can't go wrong. You can use your fingers to um, apply because I think you can really blend it in nicely. And um, this does a good job. I say the erase paste is a little bit better, but you know, if you can't afford the erase paste, this right here does just fine. And now, um, any redness, my face isn't too red. If sometimes when I wake up, I do have some redness, and I would use the green corrector, and it's really good. Um, the next one I'm going to use is the purple one, and this is just going to, uh, I'm going to put on like the highlight points, like on my cheekbones up at the top here. I just sort of rub that in at the top and on the other side 
And sometimes I would go down my nose with it, but I'm not going to do that today. Maybe just a, a pinch on the forehead. Okay. Now, after that, we will go into foundation. The foundation I'm going to use is the um, L'Oreal Infallible Total Cover Foundation in the shade 302 Creamy Natural. And the way that I actually apply this foundation, now some foundations I apply differently. Um, I, this is the L'Oreal sponge. It is a fabulous sponge. Um, so if you can't afford the Beauty Blender, I would probably recommend buying this one. It's, it's that, that good. And then what I like to do is on the bottom of the L'Oreal sponge, I will take a little bit of the foundation and by a little bit I like swirl it. So that's about as much as I'll use and that's going to be for my whole face. So, and now I will just dab it on. I do forehead, the cheeks, the chin, nose, and then I take it down to the neck and then I just start blending it in. So, and this right here, this foundation is a little bit of a, I almost want to say gray toned foundation and it is full coverage. Um, this is probably one of the most full coverage foundations I own next to the, um, the uh, Urban Decay All Nighter. And with that one, I like to use more of an oil based primer just because I think uh, where it's so matte, you, you almost need that oil for my skin where I do have dry skin. And so you just blend, blend, blend. I always like to make sure all around my neck. I know some people even go up to the ears. I will sometimes do that. I don't always do that. And then I like to check myself in the mirror, all my angles. And then after blending in with the sponge, I go in with my fingers and just sort of make sure everything is just all blended nicely on the face. Okay. So I think that is good for that. Now the next step that I am going to do is concealer and the concealer that I'm going to use is and I really really love this concealer um, if I can find it in my makeup stash is the CoverGirl this is the CoverGirl um, clean concealer and so I like to take the concealer and I go a little bit on the chin, just right there, down the nose, forehead, and then under the eyes. And then I'm going to take the L'Oreal sponge sponge. and blend that all in and I take the top part of the sponge to do that with and I know you know it maybe if the L'Oreal sponge is might be a little too pricey for you you can definitely look at you know your TJ Maxx or Marshalls because in their beauty section they have all kinds of sponges and they have some there that are pretty good too And then I also, again, I love to go in with my finger and just sort of go behind what I did with the, the sponge to make sure everything's blended nicely. And so far, I'm liking the way that it looks. I'm not sure how good it's picking up on camera, but so far, I'm liking it. Um, and now I'm going to go in. I know I need to set my under eye, but before I do that, I'm actually going to go in and do a little bit of contouring on the cheekbones and I'm also using the L'Oreal uh, Infa Total Infallible. This is their uh, 
Pro Concealing and Contour Kit. And how I love to apply this is I take the darkest shade in here and I fold up the sponge that it comes with. I rub it in the, the pan there. And then what I do is I take it down on my cheekbone. And then I go in on my forehead and go down. Same thing on this side. I do a little bit on my nose, not so much that you would really notice. And then I love taking the e.l.f. stippling brush. And come on e.l.f. brush, where are you? This is the e.l.f. stippling brush. It's their small stippling brush. And then I just go in and I blend that in. Blend, 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 blend. And I go around, and I'm going to go back around again. And now, I don't always do this step, but it it's a way for me to sort of learn how to contour and play with how to contour. Because I'm not a makeup artist. I'm just somebody who likes to play with makeup. And so blend, keep blending. I gotta make sure. I said well, I'm so blind I can't. I gotta be right up in a mirror to see what I'm doing. And then sometimes I do like to take it under my chin, from my jaw area. Okay, so I think we're good on that. Now, let's get to uh, setting the face. So this is the Cody Airspun. And what I like to do with this is I like to take the Beauty Blender and I go underneath the eyes. And I don't go too ham with this stuff because sometimes powder makes my skin just look really dry and irritated. Not really irritated, but just dry and crackly, and I don't, I don't like that look. So, and then I just take a big fluffy brush. This is the Revlon powder brush, and I just sort of wipe any of that powder away. Okay, now. Next, we will go to, now I would usually bronze, I don't think I need to bronze, I am going to go in with some blush, and I think I'll actually use my Gwen Sponny blush palette, and I think I'm going to go into this shade Cherry right here. It's a very pretty color. And sometimes I can go really ham on blush. And I don't know. I love blushes. I think they're pretty. Um, but I don't like to go too ham because sometimes once you get the blush that's looking like clown face, then I feel like you have to do your makeup all over again. Okay. And this is the Luxie brush I got, and I love it. Now for some highlights. Um, let's see what highlighter I want to use. Uh, oh, I do have this Tristee highlighter, which I like to use this as just sort of a base. And I actually just apply it with, you know, onto the cheek itself. And go down the nose. And then I go in with my fingers and blend. I love to blend with my finger. Let me do some powder highlight. I'm going to use this Physicians Formula. This is in their Translucent Pearl. And just swirl. This is actually a foundation brush, but I love it for, um, for highlight. I don't know if you all can see that highlight, but I can definitely see it. And I love it.